Danny Boy, oh Danny Boy sometimes. One of the most beautiful melodies in history. Uh, has a very interesting past and collective past because the song that we really know and love nowadays is usually sung with lyrics, written by Frederick Weatherly in uh, about 1910 or so, and he was a very prolific composer. Wrote a lot of songs, um, had a couple of probably big hits of the day, and had written the lyrics to Danny Boy to another tune, probably one of his own. Had a little trouble tracking some of that down. But the history of the melody is much more interesting because it goes back probably 300 years, where in the mid-1800s, that's not 300 years, that's only 150 years ago now, but or so, uh, Jane Ross in uh, Levati, Ireland, Northern Ireland, had heard an itinerant uh, fiddler or busking out on the street playing this tune. And uh, she went out, spent some time with him, probably uh, fl flipped him a few coins, and wrote it down, or at least remembered it, and managed to get it to a music collector in, I uh, believe in London, uh, George Petrie, and he put it in a book in the 1850s. Well, eventually it made its way to America and Frederick Weatherly's sister-in-law heard possibly Irish fiddlers in uh, silver mines in Colorado playing this tune. And she knew her brother-in-law was a composer and thought that he ought to hear it. Well, so about 1912, she either got the music to him or went and sang it for him. A lot of different, you know, skeptical or uh, uh, different reports on all of this. And uh, he realized that his lyrics, Danny Boy, um, very touching about son going off to war, probably not coming back. And it's dad's or mom's sentiments about, uh, about to lose their son. Anyway, and uh, he rearranged the words a little bit. And now we've had it for over 100 years, and it's just one of the most uh, beloved Irish tunes written by an Englishman um, that we have. Now, uh, as I was putting together this arrangement, I had a lot of different things that I was thinking about doing. On one hand, I was trying to make it, first I was trying to make it pretty simple for a, a student. Something maybe just like that. But as I started playing it, I thought, nah, this, this is so deserving of something a little bit, a lot more complicated. And decided to take the melody, which you really have to have this melody now clear in your head. We'll talk about that in the next segment. I'll play through just the melody because I want you to have it 
down, at least kind of the way I hear it. Um, but then added harmony to it. So pretty much every melody note, there are the first four melody notes, B, C, D, E. I thought, well, let's just bring in other notes of the chord, generally a third or a sixth below that. Although the very first one, oh, that's what happens. We start off with thirds. And that's kind of the path I decided to take with this song. So it's arranged in the key of C with generally a lot of harmony below the melody. The, the melody note is always what we want to hear is the highest thing. And then we have filler notes that are just helping fill out the chord. And it's really important, too, to play those a little softer. Don't let them step on the melody. So coming up, we'll break down my arrangement of Danny Boy. I forgot to mention something really important. The old tune was called Londonderry Air, or an air from County Derry. And that's the melody that, so that's why you see two titles on this. That, you know, nowadays most people know it by Danny Boy. It's like the Star Spangled Banner. We know it, but the music to it pre-existed the lyrics that, that Francis Scott Key wrote. It's exactly the story here. So, an air from County Derry. Who else came up with this? Percy Granger even wrote in the uh, um, earlier 1900s, before Weatherly, a little instrumental, did his own arrangement of it, and there probably are a hundred sets of other lyrics that people have set to this tune. So if you want to do some more research into all of that. Um, anyway, now what is coming up is my lesson on London Derriere. <laughs> 